Real talk, yeah. just rap pack. Besides that, yeah. nobody I trust. Back again, like I never left. Young Sena said us to the death. We turned up till we go deaf. Hi guys, and welcome to a video that includes the lay on. Finally, I know everyone wants it, and it's here. It's here today. So, what we're doing today with the lay on? First of all, the lay on needs a clean. Although it's reasonably good, like you can see up here, it's clean, but down here, oh, horrific. So today, first thing that's happening, car's getting cleaned. to take it for a run as it hasn't moved for about one and a half weeks so we're going to take it for a spin give it a run through Charge the battery, all that good stuff. So that will be going on. Taking it for a nice drive, finally. Also, I'm going to be chatting a bit about the car itself, like the, the MPG sort of information people have commented in the comments below about the car. I'm going to be addressing some of them just to give some useful information out there. One of the other things I need to do with the lay on today is check the oil as I haven't checked it in a while, but I haven't been driving anyway. So it shouldn't be too low, but I'm going to check to see where it is on the dipstick. At the moment it's sitting slightly uphill so it might be reading slightly false it might be reading slightly lower than it would normally read but i'm gonna do it anyway get a rough idea of what it is to see if it needs a top up or if it's okay bonnet's open for oil right so i'm gonna check the oil because my high-tuned diesel, and probably most cars, just burn a little bit of oil. So I'm just gonna check the oil and wipe it off clean. There we go, nice and clean. As you can see, we're in a nice open space. Got the whole car parked to ourselves. It's level, so once the engine, once the oil has all gone down into the engine again, we should get a pretty consistent reading. We are looking at just above minimum. So I probably can put about 600 mil in, so we have to get some oil in a bit. But yeah, so it's just above minimum at the moment, which is fine. Obviously that, you know, it's fine to drive on that, but I like it to be just under max really, or maybe just a little bit over max as it does burn a little bit of oil being a hydrogen diesel but yeah yeah it's done so so the next thing buying oil topping it up 
Let's go. There's about 350, 400 mil, so I'm gonna pour that in and that will hopefully top me up all the way to max. So this is actually something I do wanna clean this up because that's just like oil, spray, muck, crap that's come out of the engine over the years. But I wanna like, detail this get all of that out and make it like polished clean and then i was thinking you could put like a cool heat proof gloss stuff in it or maybe painting it i mean you could leave a comment below what you think i should do to the engine bay but i think it definitely needs to look smarter than it does because it looks vile at the moment so yeah leave a comment below what i should do to the engine bay Yeah, I want to talk about what sort of MPG the car gets, how much it is to tax and insure, those sort of things on the car. I'm just about to, I've literally just reinsured the car with a different company and I just want to give, yeah, some rough quotes and a rough MPG, just information about the car. And finally, what I wanted to talk about is some general figures for this car. So, I average on a day-to-day -day driving to and from work basis about 50 miles per gallon. That's mixed, that's a mix of driving normally, just driving to work and sometimes having a bit of a play on like a dual carriageway or you know just sort of breathing on the throttle every now and again. But general general driving it averages 50 miles per gallon. What I figured out on a long trip I can easily average 60 so if I'm going like 70 miles an hour and Brucey's. They had nice coats. They did have nice coats. And the person at the back really likes my car. <laughs> um, yeah, so if I'm on the motorway, 60 mile an hour, uh, what? 70 mile an hour, sixth gear, cruising, it will average 60 miles per gallon easily. However, if I'm driving around town, I'm constantly sort of changing between sort of second and third or first and second, I sort of sit around 45 to 50, which is still really good, but just in comparison, it isn't as good because it's constantly stop start, the car doesn't really like it, the engine needs to be run consistently and nice and hot, I hate short journeys, but that's diesels in general. But yeah, so this car, 300 horsepower, 500 foot pounds of torque, it has, yeah, it averages 50 miles per gallon, and it does burn a little bit of oil. It's not, it's, you know, it's an older car anyway. It's on 186,000 miles, almost 187,000 miles. So it's very, you know, although it looks amazing and I maintain it, you know, I service it every 6,000 miles, which costs about 40 pounds because it's 30 pounds for the oil, 10 pounds for the fuel filter, and then I wash out the induction kit. So obviously that saves a bit of money, although to buy the induction kit, you still have to pay you still have to spend 140 quid. <laughs> yeah, so the general oil spin, the, the roads are so cold and like greasy at the moment. Anyway, so yeah, the general maintenance is about, I'd say normally probably 60 quid for all the filters, the fuel filter, the oil filter, the air filter, and the oil. I also forgot about the oil filter, but that's like four quid. Um, yeah, generically, a full oil service, which, yeah, I am going to do a video on how to do a full service on your car. So I will do a full video on how to do a full service on this car. So, you know, also, I mean, it sort of applies generally how to service a car, but specifically this car, I'm going to be doing a video on how to do it soon. So that will be coming out later this month, I think. But yeah, so general service cost, £60. Um, MPG, about 50 MPG. Um, tax is £18 a month, which I think works out to about £196 a year. So it's not too bad. Insurance on this car. So I now have six years no claims, and I've been driving for six years. 
and my insurance for this two litre TDI car is £395 for the year. Now, last year it was 685 so I sort of knocked £300 off for the extra year no claims. So I had my Fiesta for the first year and that was £1,000 black box. Then I had my Golf, which was 1700 and that was a two litre TDI, but that was the 140 engine. I then had this, the third year, and that was 1100 I then have had this car ever since for the last three years, and then it's gone down from 1100 to 900 to 600 to 400 Well, 685, 395. But yeah, so that gives you a rough idea of how many years insurance to roughly how much the insurance will cost. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the sort of information I put in this video and sort of what, what I spoke about as I think it's sort of helpful for everyone. It's stuff, you know, I wanted to know when I was thinking about buying a set. So I hope it, I hope it helps you as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.